Well, hello and welcome back to Bucks County with me, Mr. Sim Gamer, on Farming Simulator 22. I hope you're very well today. Well, as I usually do, I start my episodes with a big whoopsie. I left Field 44 ready to roll for the next day, and I completely forgot I'm only playing one day months. So. Field 44 is not going to be rolled, but what we do have in front of us is a beautiful field of lavender which is now growing. Um, so yes, that's happened guys, nothing I can do about it now. Um, we do have some small weeds in there and in our field with our onions. Look at these little babies, they're looking really cute. Lots of yucky weeds though. And I believe it's the same with all of our fields. But the other thing I wanted to show you was look at this puddle here. How realistic is this? An actual puddle in my field. Weeds and yuckiness. Mm -mm -mm. What to do? Um, okay, anyway, let's go back to it. Field 46 with our little carrot in. You can see the little carrot tops coming through. Also, yeah, you guessed it, also has weeds. So we're going to need to do some work on those. And let's run over to our grapevines, which I believe are all fine. We just need to leave them alone. So, yep, yeah, they're all growing perfectly nice. So we're going to leave those alone. And last but not least, our last field, which has our sunflowers in, growing, but also there are weeds. So our first job is to look at buying, and I prefer to buy hoes rather than like a weeder. So then whether the weeds are big or small, we got it. Um, now, let's have a very quick look at our options. I'm not sure if I've downloaded any mods for this. Um, I think I've only got the base game ones, which isn't ideal. What's this? That's a weed, a weed, a weed, a weed. That's, a, that's the hoe, which I usually have. Um, but it is quite pricey. These are all weeders, you see. Yeah. Weeder, 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 weeder. We need the small and medium. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump off and look on the mod hub and try and find some, which I think will be good for us to use. I'll be right. Right, let's go and check out all the goodies I found at the Mod Hub. Right, let me show you. Blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, vehicle sale. Let me just triple check. I'm sure there's nothing here. Cultivate header. No, that's all good. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to weeders. I've downloaded a few options. If I go right to the end, they're normally there. Um, that is a weeder, so we probably won't do this one. These ones are hoes. So, and this one is also a hoe. And this is the one I usually go for, the John Deere 825 Row Crop Cultivator. And it works as a whole hoe. It pulls out small and medium um, weeds. So it is decent for that price. And then we have this one, which is slightly wider, 6.6 .6 meters. It is a Pottinger Rotocare V6600. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, again, a hoe which pulls out small and medium grown weeds. So the difference is two meters um, and also speed. One goes at six miles an hour, one goes at 14 miles an hour. So ideally this is the one that we will want to go for it's wider and it's faster um it doesn't need much to pull it either only 90 miles per hour so because of the money that we have in the bank i think we will go for this one i want to try different equipment rather than just going for the same thing over and over again so this is the one that i'm going to select 
and it's right over there. So I've brought the new Holland up with me. Here she is. Beautiful girl. And um, we're going to attach to the back and then we are going to wait for this weather to pass. Um, I'm not really keen on going on the fields in this weather. It's a big puddle here as well. Unfortunately, there's no splashes. I was hoping that when you drive over there would be like splashes, but there isn't. It's not got that level of realism yet. As the game progresses, I'm sure they'll start looking at more attention to detail on that. And on the right hand side, that is where my attention also needs to be today. Right on the verge. I'm drive today, clearly. Um, this one spot. Okay, so we're going to leave the tractor just there for a moment. look when this weather is due to cheer up. Okay, not far. Eight o'clock. So in the meantime, let's run back to our wonderful um, farm and get attached to the subsoiler.
Well, hello everybody. I hope you enjoyed that montage. And I managed to get quite a bit done. Not everything, but we are slowly, slowly getting there. Slowly, slowly, very slowly. Um, one field is weeded, another one is underway. We just need to make sure that everything is done in this game month. So this day, basically. <laughs> so, let's get on to it. So I was trying to think about uh, this series. Once the weeding's done, it's probably going to be me doing contracts until harvest season. But if you guys have any suggestions, do let me know, won't you? Do let me know. So by this time this video comes out, um, I would have released some videos on City Skyline 2. I don't know if any of you are into that game. I'm actually pre-recording this quite far in advance because I'm hoping to get quite a few videos done for that game. And obviously I've started playing on Eurotrap as well, which is super exciting for me. I'm absolutely loving that. There we go. So three more rows on this one and then we'll be moving over to the other little vineyard and then that's this section or job done I should say. I think it's actually easier in cab doing this. I think it is. So much more easier. We'll bring the fertilizer up here as well. We'll do some fertilizing over the uh, the vines. They'll probably end up getting weeds, although this is going to be this is a freshly mulched bit of land, so we may be okay for this season. We might get away with it. So I've had some comments of people saying they're also playing this game as well. Um sorry this map. Are there any other maps that you're excited for? I don't know of any big ones coming up. Alma's now out. Um, but I don't really have time in my roster to look at another map. So I'm going to be continuing this Bucks County. Um, I've got Court Farms with Farmer Sim. And then I am working on, in the background, moving over... Uh, Bally Spring and Hinterland to my PC and that's mainly because of the audio the audio quality is much better um, on here so when I play with Lou it's really quite hard to hear her on the PlayStation so I'm gonna move Bally Spring game save I've just got to rebuild everything um, and then we will Probably um, Hinterland. I'm like, I'm in an R ring at the moment. I've had a few people say they want to see it come back. I just need the time to build it again. I just have a lot more mods available to me on P PC that can make the recording much easier for me. And that's kind of it's such a big bonus, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes it can take six plus hours to record one hinterland. And I don't really have that because this is my this is my hobby. It's not my job. So I'm just working on what I can and cannot achieve in the time that I have. And doing vines like this, 
is guaranteeing my my gameplay is slightly longer but you can't get workers doing this this really is get down get to work hands-on approach which I you've always known about me I always like that so I'm trying to record quite ahead of myself so any comments that I don't pick up for a few weeks I apologize I'm, I'm trying to record back to back to back um, at the moment this is going to be late October early November this episode so that will just show you how far in advance I am recording because today is the 22nd of October so right let's get out lift that and oh actually there's a little bit there I've missed let me just do that great 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 next one and before I get started on this what I'm gonna do is go and check how the weeder is going the weeding I should say let's skip on through all right that's all going well it's quite a big field this one there is an area which um, they can't get to that back corner there just sort of in the middle ish of the screen so I'm gonna do that once this is finished I'm gonna hop over to help help the guy out can't do can't do everything himself okay there we go all right let's do this Oh, I can hear my little Luna bear barking in the background. I was, uh, I went out shopping uh, yesterday. Well, I went out for lunch with my mum and my dad and we ended up doing a little bit of shopping and that always takes us to the pet shop because the girls drag us in there regardless. Um, uh, if you're watching this and my videos for the first time, check out my shorts or my logo you'll see my two dogs Roxy and Luna uh, Cavashu, Cavashon and a Cavapoo they are my absolute world I adore them um, but I was in the pet shop and in trots in a 13 week old St Bernard and it was the same size as my little girls now and they're a couple of years old it was humongous but so beautiful absolutely stunning um a little girl actually called mabel that's her name and oh my goodness she's absolutely stunning first time i've ever seen a baby st bernard you don't see st bernard's much anyway not round where i live um so it was really quite cute to see i'll be honest with you we do we do get all kinds of breeds but when you see one like that it's just adorable so i uh i spent half my time just stroking this dog just absolutely obsessed um but yeah, my, my girls are pretty much my world. Anybody that knows me knows that my, my, my dogs, I don't have children, so, and that's by choice. Me and my husband, I think we pretty much decided, oopsie, didn't want to do that. Um, <laughs> that we've decided that we, we're probably not going to have children, um, mainly because of my health. And, uh, yeah, I have a yet to be, well, we thought it was some, we thought it was a condition called functional neurological disorder. I've spoken about it before. Um, if you're not new to my channel, I think I 
talked about this in my Red Rock series in Black Mountain, Montana. Um, I recently got quite sick. That's why my channel's been a bit spotty for quite some time. Ironically, it is... Uh, I, I had this most horrific rash that appeared out of nowhere in August just gone. And it turned out that it was vasculitis and I was in so much pain, so much pain. I just couldn't sit, like the clothing, I couldn't barely wear anything on my clothes. It was the, the rash, I can't even, you have to Google it. So I had it all over my legs, some on my arms and yeah, a little bit on my torso, not too much. Um, finally managed to get diagnosis. Our NHS is a little bit slow here, our healthcare. So I managed to get in uh, to the rheumatologist and they tested me for long-term vasculitis. Um, and I don't have long-term vasculitis, so it's just like random. It came out of nowhere. Um, but it turns out it's not random. So I've I've been diagnosed with something called functional neurological disorder. Um, I get extreme muscle weakness. Sometimes goes into paralysis. Um, sort of memory fog, brain fog. So sometimes you know when I'm I'm play my game and I'm trying to think of something and I'll say something completely different. It, it really is just not me being dumb. It's my brain not being able to process things. Um, and also extreme fatigue, extreme fatigue. So it's affected my work life, my personal life. And this year, I, and one of the biggest reasons I want to my channel to succeed is it gives me a lot of flexibility. I can record when I want, how I want. Um, and thankfully, I work for myself with my sister anyway, so I do have that flexibility. But I, I had some blood tests. Obviously, they were like, well, why did you get vasculitis then? If it's not a long-term vasculitis form. Um, and I had a test come back positive for a condition called lupus. Um, which, ironically, means wolf in Latin. And hence why I think my brain connected with the dogs to lupus. <laughs> um, so, yes, I have been in and out of hospital, in and out of sort of trying to understand what's going on. And I think many people in life have challenges. Many people have challenges. So anybody which has, has been struggling with an illness for long and nobody can give you any answers, it's, it's, it's quite frustrating. And the answer I was giving, functional neurological disorder, was the wrong one. And there is nothing you can do for it. So instead of anybody investigating further, I was just living with this random condition, um, which it may not even be that. So I've got a blood test on the 3rd of November to confirm if it is going to be lupus. And if it is, then ironically, it sounds strange, it's a good thing, because finally I will have some answers and uh, and potential treatments. There's no cure, but it's not, it's not deadly. Um, as long as you look after yourself and I've had tests on my organs and we're all good. Um, but if I could get some medication, I, my, my world might change, which is so exciting. Um, and why am I mentioning this? I, I'm always very honest with my my viewers, and this is a safe space. If you ever want to talk or message me, you can. Because it's life. Life happens, and it's really quite 
difficult, especially if you're somebody which has an illness which people can't necessarily see. It, like, what I would describe as an invisible illness. Um, oh really? Mine is an invisible disability. So, I, I mean, I could be laid up for a few days not being able to move. How is that not a disability? So, it, it, if you are somebody out there with a condition and you want someone to talk to, just, I'm here. And also, don't give up. Don't give up. You have... There are smart people out there in the world which may just have the answer. And you might have to be patient. And again, I am not the most patient person in the world. But this has been 12 years now for me. 12 years that I have been ill. And the first, the first thing was paralysis. So they automatically thought I had a mini stroke. And then I had multiple tests. I was in hospital for ages. They couldn't find anything because they automatically went to neurology. And it turns out where I needed to be the whole time was rheumatology. Uh, I have an immune system which attacks itself. So, yeah, it's... It's quite an, uh, a strange thing when you finally might get some answers. Um, I'm probably the only person in the world which is hoping to have an autoimmune disease. <laughs> um, because then I'll finally, finally get some answers. It's so exciting. So exciting. Okay, we're going to move on to the next field. We've, that's two down, two to go. And I think I'll finish these all off camera. And then by the time we come into the next episode, we will be at least up to date with our our fields. Our fields will be good. Um, and that's that's really what we want to be doing. This, this, this bad boy is a big one. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for just being here, really. And, and know that if you're sitting there, you're watching this, and you're not feeling very well today, or you're living with something which is, is, is not easy, just know that you're not alone, and every day is another day. And just find people around you that love you and support you and you can definitely count me as one of those um if you got this far you know what i'm going to ask you hit that like button comment and subscribe for more videos like this on farming simulator 22 with me mrs sg you take care now <laughs>